What was your initial reaction when you first read the script of your episode? When I read the script, um, I loved it. I love both. I did two episodes. The one I was nominated for um, was the second one. It was number six of the series. And I loved it, and I hoped that I would be able to do it justice and not mess it up. Well, we're talking about serious topics about brutal police brutality and stuff like that. How did you go approach doing those, that kind of covering that topic in such a sensitive way? Um, to me, if we were to, and I said this to the actors, I said this also to the showrunner, Lee Eisenberg, if we're going to explore black pain, that we have to humanize it and there has to be a reason. And we have to make it hurt. So my approach was to really, um, I talked to a historian and I did a lot of research as far as what the real protest would have been and what it would feel like and what it would look like and what historically would have taken place. And then talk to the actors, um, talk to the crew, you know, and then they had to talk to the stunt guys because the stunt guys wanted to be very ginger. And I was like, no, that's not how they were. That's not how the police were at that time. And we added and everybody wanted to just tell the truth and everybody wanted to be faithful to that moment and portray the brutality of it so that that moment should feel bad and it should hurt and it should be triggering and hopefully people will never want to recreate that moment ever again in reality. And you're also covering the serious backstory yes. with suicide. So how do you juxtapose that and you wanted to cover that approach, that uh, storyline? Um, this, the backstory is really important because it tells you everything about the main character. So it gives you, it tells you why she's the way that she is, right? Bree's character is the way that she is. So um, one thing was dealing with the 1920s, which was great, but then also to deal with at that time, see it's interesting because we dealt with civil rights, which was also tangled in with women's rights, but then gay rights, which wasn't even something that was talk talked about, but that's what her brother committed suicide over. So ultimately the episode was about being, feeling equal no matter who you are. And the devastation of when you cannot feel equal or you cannot feel like you can be authentically who you are. So for me as a director, I always just try to tap into the heart of the character and what's going on. And when I chose, the way that I chose to film the suicide, I didn't want it to be gratuitous. I still wanted it to hurt. But um, leading up to the suicide, I wanted you to get a feeling for who this guy was so that when he was gone, you felt the loss and the injustice of it. So it seemed like you, you, the key for your director is making sure people feel it emotionally yes. instead of exploitively. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, so one question. I, we have a lot of students, acting students. Uh, Brie Larson is a terrific actress. We all know it. Uh, but what does she do special? What is something she does maybe that you say, you know, your students should follow that? She does something research. Is there something she does that's really special that you think would be a good trait for some of her acting students to think about? She feels. I think that was, she's very smart. Um, she takes in the situation, she does her homework, she knows the character, and then she feels. Um, and one of the things that I love about Brie is when we were on set, I would look, like something would come up just based on watching a first take and I'd go, hmm, I'm feeling something. Let's go that way, let's push it. And she'd go, okay, <laughs> let's try it. And that was great and that's the one thing that I loved about Brie is that she feels and she's free. And she's willing to try things. And if it doesn't work, that's okay. But you have to be willing to take that chance and to try pushing yourself to feel and to be um, emotionally open because that's what really sells. And even if it doesn't work, as a director's standpoint, whatever she's trying to do, theoretically, could lead to something else. Like another idea. Oh, that didn't work, but hey, what if we and did that? It doesn't that? work, it's just a take. Right. <laughs> We do another take. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like the old days with film. You know? Yeah, no, but usually it, you find really lovely things. Mm. And sometimes we go, you know, that doesn't work, but there's a point right here. Let's mi mix this with that. And that's why she's right. wonderful. 